change. You may have heard the recent story about actor Jeremy Piven abruptly quitting a starring role on Broadway, claiming he was terribly ill from mercury poisoning. He blamed it on a constant diet of sushi. While his diet may not be typical of most Americans, it is the latest in a long-running controversy over how much fish we should eat, a question that applies most urgently to pregnant women and nursing mothers. NBC's chief science correspondent Robert Bazell reports. I'm waiting for you. Naomi White Randolph loves fish, especially raw sushi. But when she was pregnant with her three day old daughter, Soraya, she had to change her diet. To find out that there's some sushi that I couldn't eat was absolutely devastating to me. There is no question that fish is healthy, but toxic mercury, mostly from coal fired power plants, makes its way into the ocean where it can end up in the meat of certain fish. The Environmental Protection Agency and the Food and Drug Administration advise pregnant and nursing women to eat 12 ounces, about two servings, of fish a week and avoid fish with high mercury content. But the message got confusing this month when proposed new guidelines from the FDA said pregnant and nursing women should eat even more fish. The problem is that, that fish contain both beneficial nutrients and potentially contaminants. In fact, recent studies of large numbers of children show two things. Kids whose mothers eat a lot of fish during pregnancy do better developmentally. But if the mother has too much mercury in her blood, they do worse. So the key is knowing which fish is safest. Those with high levels of mercury include swordfish, king mackerel, and tilefish. Seafood with low levels of mercury includes salmon, cod, shrimp, trout, and most small fish. What about the most popular fish, tuna? Tuna is a complicated one because not all tuna is the same. Canned albacore tuna can have some mercury, so the government advises pregnant and nursing mothers to eat only one serving a week. But tuna steaks, including the pieces used for sushi, can have high levels, which is why Naomi White Randolph had to eat differently to help protect little Soraya. It's gonna keep you safe. Robert Bazell, NBC News, New York.